Welcome to the Jonathan Green New American Lawn Training Academy. Over the next 30 minutes, you will be viewing and learning a do-it-yourself concept that is truly revolutionary to the lawn care industry. It will give homeowners the best lawn results they have ever seen. But before we advance, we'd like to take this moment to let consumers know that Jonathan Green products can only be found at independent hardware stores and garden centers. Let's first explain what the New American Lawn is. The New American Lawn is a complete fertilizer system that feeds your lawn and your soil. In fact, the New American Lawn is the only program on the market that feeds both. You're probably asking yourself two questions right now. First, what is feeding your soil? And second, don't you feed your soil when you feed your lawn? Both are good questions, but let's not answer them at this moment because you'll be able to answer them very easily once the training develops. Just keep the phrase feed your soil constantly in your mind for this is the true difference between Jonathan Green and all of the other lawn care companies on the market today. Traditionally, consumers feed their lawn with lawn fertilizers, also known as lawn foods. Every lawn food contains three key elements, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. This is known as the NPK analysis and can be found on the front or back of any lawn food package. The numbers are listed as a percentage of package weight. Therefore, a 32-3-10 means that 32% of the weight of the bag is nitrogen, 3% is phosphorus, and 10% is potassium. NPK can easily be remembered by using the phrase up, down, all around. The first number is nitrogen. Nitrogen is the most important element used in lawn fertilizer because it's what feeds the plant and greens the leaves. That's why we refer to it as the up element. Most lawn foods feed for two months. This is why retailers have traditionally told consumers to feed four times per year using four-step programs. After two months, the nitrogen, or lawn food in the fertilizer, is completely used up by the grass plant, and another step must be applied to add more nitrogen to the lawn. It is important to point out that much of the nitrogen in lawn fertilizers is highly water-soluble and releases to the plant quickly. Even the insoluble nitrogen polymers are not very large and break down in just two months or less. Phosphorus is the second number in the NPK formulation. Phosphorus is needed only one time in the lawn whenever a homeowner is seeding or sodding. Seedlings use phosphorus to develop strong roots, and the sod, which has been greatly stressed after being cut on the farm, uses phosphorus to regenerate its roots. That's why phosphorus is referenced as the down element. The last number in the NPK formula is potassium. Potassium, or potash, is found at high rates in fall fertilizers. In short, potassium is an all-around vitamin pill for the grass. It helps build strong cell walls and stems, which allow the lawn to ward off disease, particularly during the long, harsh winter months. NPK is the place where nearly all lawn companies stop their turf science, but not at Jonathan Green. As you will see with the New American Lawn, there is far more to great lawns than just NPK. Most lawn fertilizer programs tackle weeds, most notably crabgrass and dandelions. There is a difference between both and how they are controlled. There are two types of weeds that attack lawns, grassy weeds and broadleaf weeds. Grassy weeds are ugly looking grasses. They have no visible flower, are often light green in color with very thick leaves, and do not have a tap root. Crabgrass is a great example. The most common way to control grassy weeds is through prevention. Placing a pre-emergent control down in the early spring will usually prevent crabgrass for the entire season. But what happens if you're a bit too late? No worries. Jonathan Green uses a state-of-the-art crabicide called Dimension. It not only prevents crabgrass for the entire season, but controls crabgrass after it grows up to the third leaf stage. The national brand only prevents crabgrass and does not provide any post-emergent control whatsoever. Broadleaf weeds are different from grassy weeds because they have a pronounced flower and contain a taproot. The yellow dandelion and the white clover are common examples. 
Broadleaf weeds, unlike grassy weeds, must be controlled after they grow, and the taproot must be fully killed, otherwise the weed will just come back. Therefore, applying a weed and feed in late spring or early summer to a wet lawn will kill most broadleaf weeds. The lawn must be wet so the herbicide sticks to the leaves, absorbs through them, and kills the taproot. Jonathan Green uses Dissolve, a three-way herbicide that kills over 250 broadleaf weeds. Dissolve provides superior broadleaf weed control over the national brand that only kills about 67 listed weeds. Annual lawn programs typically provide lawn food with weed controls. Therefore, when you buy a crabgrass preventer or a weed and feed, it will often be combined with a lawn fertilizer to ensure that your grass gets not only protection from weeds, but also gets an ample dose of lawn food as well. Fall lawn foods are usually sold without herbicides. They provide the last feeding of the year for your lawn and deserve to be quickly discussed. It's important to use a low nitrogen fertilizer in the autumn months. This action prevents prolonged growth into the winter when grass should be dormant. It also prevents early spring diseases like snow mold from happening. In fact, most spring diseases are caused by using too much nitrogen in the fall. Instead of nitrogen, your fall lawn food should have ample amounts of potassium to help it ward off disease in the winter. Jonathan Green's Winter Survival, unlike the national brand, does exactly that with its perfect 10-0-20 analysis. The New American Lawn Program contains three lawn foods, each feeding for three months and not two months like the national brand. In addition, as you've just seen, Jonathan Green's lawn foods provide superior control of grassy weeds in the early spring, broadleaf weeds in the late spring, and greater amounts of potassium in the fall. But what do competitive lawn fertilizer programs do for the soil? Truth be told, nothing. Feeding the soil is what makes the New American Lawn truly different from every other annual lawn program on the market today, and we're going to spend time discussing the importance of having healthy subsoil for your turf. Before we begin discussing Soil Science 101, let's discuss three important points which will help you obtain superior turf grass. First, great lawns start with great grass seed. If you start out with a bargain basement grass seed, then you'll likely end up with a bargain basement lawn. Second, great lawns, like all plants, need great soil to survive. Healthy subsoil is the foundation for a healthy, dark green lawn. Last, you must feed your soil now and in the future to maintain and enhance that foundation. At Jonathan Green, we keep it simple, and our products do the hard work for you. We like to say that feeding the soil with the New American Lawn is as easy as U S A. Use genetically superior Black Beauty grass seed whenever you're tackling a seeding project, whether it's overseeding an existing lawn to make it thicker or newly seeding a lawn from bare soil. Stop soil compaction, stimulate soil microbial activity, and adjust soil pH with Magical Plus. Yes, it's that simple. So let's discuss each feed your soil step one at a time. A lawn will only be as good as the grass seed it's grown from. Therefore, it's important to apply a mixture with elite varieties that will withstand the pressures from Mother Nature, like heat, drought, disease, and insects. Your choice should always be Black Beauty. Black Beauty is a turf-type tall fescue that looks better than the best Kentucky bluegrasses. In fact, Black Beauty is so good that it is grown by the nation's leading sod growers, and if it wasn't an exceptional seed, then professionals wouldn't grow it. Chances are there is a Black Beauty sod grower located in your area. Sod growers love Black Beauty because of four major attributes. First, Black Beauty unlike bluegrass that has a six inch deep root system, grows roots up to four feet deep. Second, Black Beauty has an invisible waxy coating on the leaf, similar to what you'd find in an apple, which cuts down the evaporation rate on the plant. When you combine the deep roots with less evaporation, you have a grass that holds more water than others, thereby making it incredibly heat and drought tolerant during periods of summer stress. Third, Black Beauty exhibits a rich, dark green color with a uniform, upright growth habit that never looks clumpy. 
Last, Black Beauty is naturally insect resistant. You may have seen Black Beauty on PBS's This Old House. Here's a snippet from the program. Well, frost or no frost, it's always a great day when the sod shows up here towards the end of the project. And Roger, nothing seems to stop you from laying down a beautiful new lawn this time of year. No, look, we've got a great day to get this turned all green. Perfect. You remember Pat Hogan, our sod supplier? I do, Pat, good to see you. Good seeing you, Kevin. So what did you bring us today? Well, for 30 years, we've brought you bluegrass. This time we've got something a little different. It's our Black Beauty blend that's uh, 30 to 50% less fertilizer and water needed. Really? Yeah, this is a tall fescue, Kevin. With a bluegrass, we were fertilizing four times a year, the four-step method that everyone knows. And the bluegrass needed all that fertilizer, the nitrogen especially, to stay green. Well, the tall fescue only needs half of it. So we're not using, we don't have nitrogen overload, nitrogen getting in the water supply. Yeah, we don't like nitrogen running off into the water at all. Not at all. All right, so how is it possible that we use half as much fertilizer, nearly half as much water? I mean, what did you guys do? Well. The plant researchers have found several blends. One was out towards the Sahara, another was in the upper peninsula of Michigan, and they crossbred this, and uh, that's what they've come up with. You can't tell by looking at it, but this plant has a waxy coating on it, just like an apple, and that seals it from evapotranspiration, meaning none of the moisture is getting sucked out of the leaves. Also, the root system on this will go down almost four feet, where the bluegrass is only six Holy to nine inches macro. deep and dries out really quickly. That is incredible. So you literally went to the ends of the earth to come up with the perfect grass. Absolutely. Well, less fertilizer and less water sounds great. Uh, it looks beautiful as well, so I say we get it down. Let's plant it. Never forget that a lawn is only as good as the grass seed it's grown from. As you just witnessed, Black Beauty is now being grown professionally by sod growers that used to exclusively plant Kentucky bluegrass. Black Beauty should be used by every homeowner because it's deeply rooted and requires far less maintenance than other grass varieties on the market. So plant Black Beauty today. It's now time to discuss soil health, the most critical part of great lawn care that other programs and products simply miss. Ever wonder why your lawn still has weeds and looks bad, even though you feed it every year? The problem isn't your lawn, it's your soil. Improve your soil, improve your lawn. The New American Lawn by Jonathan Green. Let's face it, you must have great soil to grow great plants. Think about it. Would you plant your annuals and perennials with a poor quality potting soil? Of course not. Healthy soil is the foundation for all great plants and turf grass is a plant. Without having the proper soil foundation, no compaction, healthy microbial populations, and balanced soil pH, you will never enjoy a lawn that is dark green, weed free, and disease resistant. Healthy soil for turf grass can be divided into two parts, a healthy soil biology and a healthy soil chemistry. Healthy biology focuses on encouraging the growth of beneficial microbes such as good bacteria. These microbes perform a probiotic function for the soil, ensuring the proper digestion or breakdown of nutrients in it. When microbial populations are lacking, nutrients get tied up in the soil and never reach the grass plant. Healthy soil chemistry is needed in the soil to facilitate the chemical breakdown of soil nutrients so they are fully released to grass plants and in so doing, minimize leaching. We'll discuss each part one at a time. The biological breakdown of organic nutrients begin when they are added into the soil. Grass clippings, stems, leaves, manures, compost, and organic fertilizers are great examples. When this organic matter is added, the decomposition cycle begins. Almost immediately, soil microbes, particularly beneficial bacteria and fungi, begin colonizing the waste. Bacteria and fungi don't have mouths like humans, but they do secrete enzymes which start breaking down the matter. The enzymes break down large organic compounds and chemically convert them into smaller organic compounds. The microbes take this broken down waste, absorb it, digest it, and secrete waste for other microbes to use. 
This activity continues until the compounds get broken down into very simple and soluble minerals that the plant can readily absorb through their roots. The entire process, which we've described in just six steps, is known as mineralization. Unfortunately, overuse of synthetic fertilizers have bypassed the mineralization cycle and accordingly the soil microbial life. Sadly, most fertilizer users have gone from step one directly to step six of the cycle and in so doing, put their lawns on a short-term sugar diet of fast-releasing lawn foods. As the mineralization cycle demonstrated, soil microbes are the breakdown engines for all plants. They must feed on organic matter in the soil to obtain their energy and multiply. Therefore, it's important to add more organic matter into your lawn fertilizer programs to create a more biologically active soil. In addition to organic matter, soil microbes and grass roots need proper amounts of air and water to live. When soil is too hard, air and water can't penetrate the root zone. When this happens, microbial life minimizes, roots grow shallow, and grass grows thin. Homeowners spend a fortune renting core aerating machines that pull plugs out of the ground for better air and water penetration. Within months, however, these holes fill back in and recompaction takes place. Why? Because the biology of the soil hasn't changed at all. You must use a soil food filled with organic content and gypsum to change the long-term biology of the soil. Magical Plus feeds soil microbes and naturally loosens hard soil for thicker, greener, and healthier plants. As we discussed, soil microbes take large, complex molecules from organic matter and digest them into smaller molecules. Eventually, simple elements from these molecules bond to exchange sites found on soil colloids. The colloids act as magnets, where the elements are stored until the plant is ready to use them. If these attractions did not take place, then plant nutrients would wash away into groundwater. A proper soil chemistry must be present for the colloid element attractions to occur. Soil chemistry is centered on having the correct pH in the soil. It is vital to vibrant plant life. pH stands for potential hydrogen, and it is measured on a pH scale. We will look at the scale in just a moment. The more H plus or hydrogen ions that are in the soil, the more acidic the soil is. Conversely, the more OH negative or hydroxyl ions that are in the soil, the more alkaline the soil is. Lawns do not grow well in soils that are very acidic or alkaline. Let's take a look at the pH scale right now. The pH scale indicates the amount of acidity or alkalinity in the soil. The scale goes from 0 to 14. 7 is a neutral reading. Below 7 is an acidic reading. Above 7 is an alkaline reading. Lawns thrive in soil with pH readings between 6.2 and 7, or slightly acidic to neutral, and will often turn pale green if left out of this ideal range. As you can see, weeds flourish in acidic and alkaline soil conditions. It's time to have some fun with a little bit of soil chemistry. This section will give you a more detailed understanding of how our soil foods work. Though there are many chemical reactions that occur in the soil which can neutralize acidity, we'll discuss a key one here today. Soil colloids made of clay and humus have a negative charge. Most fertilizer and soil nutrients have a positive charge. These positively charged nutrients are called cations. Opposites attract, right? So the positively charged nutrients naturally bond to the negatively charged open sites on the colloid. This bonding actually prevents leaching of nutrients into groundwater. The soil's ability to hold nutrients on a colloid and exchange them for other cations is called cation exchange. Once key plant nutrients, calcium in this example, are released into the solution, then plant roots will absorb them. This is a well-balanced soil chemistry. Here is a picture of an acidic soil. It's not well balanced. When the soil solution and colloid exchange sites 
fill up with too many hydrogen or H plus ions, then the soil becomes acidic. Though a soil test is the best way to decipher which type of soil you have, as a general rule, people in the Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, and Midwest notoriously have acidic soil. With the solution in colloid sites clogged, key nutrients like calcium, nitrogen, magnesium, and potassium can't chemically react for plant absorption. Magical Plus for acidic soil contains fast-acting calcium carbonate, it's the carbonate that neutralizes the H plus in the soil and in turn removes the acidity. With the H plus ions in check, calcium and other positively charged key nutrients are either absorbed by plant roots or take a seat on the colloid for future absorption. Let's take an even closer look at the previously described reaction. When the calcium carbonated Magical Plus for acidic soil enters the soil, a chemical reaction occurs where the carbonate, CO3, reacts with two hydrogen H plus ions. This reaction creates water, carbon dioxide, and a calcium ion. The water goes into the solution. The carbon dioxide releases into the atmosphere, and the calcium ion either gets absorbed by the plant in solution or replaces the H plus ions on the colloid for future absorption. On the other side of the pH scale, there are many chemical reactions that occur in the soil which can neutralize alkalinity. We'll discuss a key one here today. Here's a picture of an alkaline soil. It's not well balanced. When the soil solution and colloid exchange sites fill up with too many hydroxyl or OH negative ions, then the soil becomes alkaline or basic. As a general rule, people in the central and western United States notoriously have alkaline soil. Again, if you're unsure, then a simple pH test will tell you what kind of soil you have. In alkaline soil, the OH negative ions in the solution block key positive nutrients like calcium, nitrogen, magnesium, and potassium, so they can't chemically react for plant absorption. The sulfur in Magical Plus for alkaline soil neutralizes the OH negative ions and thus reduces the alkalinity. With the hydroxyl ions in check, calcium and other key positive charged nutrients are able to enter the solution for plant absorption. Let's take an even closer look at the previously described reaction. When the sulfur in Magical Plus for alkaline soil enters the soil, the sulfur, S, reacts with sulfur-fixing bacteria, water, and oxygen. A biochemical reaction then occurs where hydrogen, or H plus ions, which are acidic, and sulfate, SO4, an important secondary nutrient for plants, are formed. Some of the H plus ions react with the OH negative ions to form water, which neutralizes the soil. The remaining H plus ions add acidity to the soil and, in so doing, begins to lower the high alkaline pH that we began with. With the OH negative ions neutralized, sulfate and other positive nutrients on the colloid can now be absorbed by the plant. Now that wasn't too hard, was it? Congratulations, you're now a soil chemistry expert. But you don't have to be with Jonathan Green's New American Lawn because we've already done the work for you. You see, you can stop soil compaction, stimulate soil microbes, and adjust soil pH with Magical Plus. Magical Plus for lawns in acidic and hard soils rapidly raises acidic soil pH and loosens compacted soil at the same time. Magical Plus feeds the soil microbes with humates, molasses, amino acids, and iron. By adjusting pH and stimulating microbes, Magical Plus releases tied up nutrients from lawn foods in the soil so they are readily available to plants. It is an all natural product that is safe for people and pets. And if you are in an alkaline area, Magical Plus for lawns in alkaline and hard soils does the same thing as its counterpart for acidic soil, except it lowers alkaline soil pH while simultaneously loosening hard soil. 
let's summarize our learnings about soil biology and soil chemistry. Soil microbes feed on organic matter and are responsible for biologically breaking down the nutrients in soils. Humate Rich Magical Plus provides great food and energy for microbes. Synthetic fertilizers have been overused and bypass much of the microbial life in soils. Soil must be soft and porous so that air and water are available to microbes and roots. Magical Plus loosens hard soil. Soil chemistry, pH, is critically important for vital nutrients to be absorbed by grass plants. Magical Plus balances pH rapidly. So start incorporating and substituting organic soil amendments, organic fertilizers, gypsum, calcium for acidic soil, or sulfur for alkaline soil, into your lawn food program diet. Remember, Jonathan Green's New American Lawn Annual Program does the work for you. Well, by now you understand the need for not only feeding the lawn, but more importantly, feeding the soil. So how do you apply the New American Lawn Annual Program? It's so easy. Just follow our New American Lawn application wheel. Let's show you how it works. The New American Lawn four-step program makes having the lawn that you've always wanted easy to obtain. As the wheel shows, apply Jonathan Green Green Up with Crabgrass Preventer in the early spring. This step allows you to prevent crabgrass for the entire season while, at the same time, gives the lawn an early spring feeding and faster greening. Let's take a brief pause for a minute. What if you want to seed in the spring? Well, you won't be able to use Green Up with Crabgrass Preventer. Why? Because it will not only prevent grassy weeds from coming up, but it will also prevent your newly sown seed from coming up too. Therefore, you can do one of two options. The first option is seeding with Jonathan Green Black Beauty Grass Seed and fertilizing with Crabgrass Preventer plus New Seeding Fertilizer in lieu of Green Up plus Crabgrass Preventer. Crabgrass Preventer plus New Seeding Fertilizer has a special ingredient called Tuppersan that allows you to seed and prevent crabgrass at the same time. The second option is to seed with Jonathan Green Black Beauty Grass Seed and fertilize with Green Up for seeding and sodding in the early spring. Both products can be applied on the same day. Once the newly sown seed has germinated and it has been mowed twice, you can apply Green Up plus Crabgrass Preventer. Remember, unlike competitive products, Green Up plus Crabgrass Preventer is a pre and post emergent for crabgrass and therefore can be applied much later than traditional crabgrass preventers. Whatever seeding option you choose, they will yield great results for your lawn. Now let's go back to the wheel. As the late spring, or if you've chosen seeding option two, early summer arrives, so do dandelions, clover, and many other broadleaf weeds. It's time to kill the weeds and feed the lawn with Jonathan Green Green Up Weed and Feed. As we stated earlier, you must wet the lawn first, apply the product, and be certain that there is no rain in the forecast for 48 hours. When the dog days of summer approach, most consumers are afraid to fertilize, and for good reason. Nitrogen and hot temperatures can burn lawns, but the New American Lawn Program loves heat. In fact, bring on 100 degree temperatures. Magical Plus, the third or summer step in the program, works better when temperatures get hotter. Why? Because the microbial activity of the soil increases when soil temperatures get warmer. You'll never burn your grass with Magical Plus. As the fall approaches, it's time to put down winter survival, the last step of the New American Lawn Program. Winter survival is a low nitrogen, high potassium fertilizer that is ideal for the lawn as it begins to prepare for the long winter ahead. Healthy amounts of potassium will help ward off disease during dormancy and low levels of nitrogen will ensure less surge growth and no snow mold in the spring. For homeowners with very poor soil, Jonathan Green has additional soil foods that augment Magical Plus. If you have a highly acidic soil, lower than 5.9, then supplement Magical Plus with an additional application of Magical for acidic soil. Magical for acidic soil contains a supercharged 
deacidifying formula specially designed for very acidic conditions. On a related note, soil pH meters can be found at most hardware stores and garden centers. If you have an extremely hard soil, then supplement Magical Plus with an application of Love Your Soil. An easy way to find out if your soil is very hard is simply push your finger down into it. If the soil can't penetrate the first knuckle, then you have a bad compaction problem. Love Your Soil contains a supercharged soil loosening formula designed to soften heavily compacted areas. Though Magical for acidic soil, Love Your Soil, and Magical Plus can all be put down on the same day, we recommend applying either or both of the supplements about one month after applying Magical Plus. If you decide to use multiple products, just remember to put them down one at a time. Every do-it-yourself lawn owner wants to care for their lawn in a natural way that is free from long-term blanket pesticide usage. The problem with this approach is that consumers are misinformed. They are often told that organic fertilizers and weed controls work as fast and as well as synthetics. This is an unrealistic expectation to set at the beginning. In fact, it leads to dismayed customers that, once disappointed, will never try natural choices again. Jonathan Green's New American Lawn Plan provides a blueprint for every lawn customer to obtain an all-natural lawn. You see, once do-it-yourselfers begin feeding the lawn and the soil with the New American Lawn Program, the lawn will be fed, weeds will be controlled, the soil biology will be activated, the soil chemistry will be properly adjusted, and the thickest, healthiest lawn ever will soon be the result. Once this happens, you can graduate to our New American Lawn All-Natural program. Depending on the condition of the lawn at the beginning, it can take two to three years to realistically get there. Remember, a thick, healthy turf is your best ally against any weed because you've given them no room to grow. Let's take a quick look at the New American Lawn All-Natural program application wheel. The first application in our natural approach is Jonathan Green Corn Gluten Weed Preventer. It gets applied to your lawn in the early spring. Like traditional feeding programs, Corn Gluten Weed Preventer prevents grassy weeds such as crabgrass, but unlike traditional programs, prevents many broadleaf weeds like dandelions as well. The weed control ingredient is corn gluten, which possesses the unique ability to prevent, but not kill, both types of weeds. In addition to organically controlling weeds, it feeds your lawn organically too. Please note that Corn Gluten Weed Preventer has no post-emergent properties. Therefore, if you want to seed when using the New American Lawn All-Natural Program, then you must do so in the fall. The second step, occurring in the late spring or early summer, is Magical Plus. The third step of the program, applied in the summer, is Jonathan Green Organic Lawn Food. This product organically feeds the lawn very slowly with high-energy protein meals, not manures, that keeps your lawn green and healthy during the hot summer months. The last step is another application of Jonathan Green Organic Lawn Food, put down in the fall. Thank you for your time, effort, and support for the New American Lawn Plan. For more information on the New American Lawn, simply visit www.jonathangreen.com. Have a great spring, and remember to share your successes with us.